the Vice President, Yemi Osibanjo, has said, Nigeria can become the first black nation to send people to the moon, despite the country's universities being closed for close to four months. Osibanjo, one of the presidential aspirants of the All Progressive Congress, APC, said this on Tuesday at the National Convention of the Party at the Igu Square, Abuja. We can build drones, helicopters, and planes. Our Air Force is already manufacturing its own drones and God hoing us. In two decades, we can become the first black nation on earth to send a team of all black men and women as astronauts to the moon. Osibanjo told delegates at the convention. Meanwhile, public universities in Nigeria have been closed following a strike action embarked upon by lecturers since February 14, 2022 over the government's failure to honor agreements it had with lecturers union, academic staff union of universities. Asu, what is your thought to this? What is your own reaction to this plan development? I would like you to let us know your own reactions to this. I would like you to share it with us via the comment section. You just had President, you know, the Vice President, who is also a presidential aspirant under the People's Democratic Party, you know, the All Progressive Congress, pardon, APC, telling us that, you know, Nigeria can become the first black nation to send people to the moon. Saying that Nigeria can become the first black nation to send astronauts to the moon. Imagine seeing all these things despite the country's situation, despite the ASU strike. So Nigeria has the money to do all that and cannot, you know, take the education of Nigerian students. It's serious. This is unbelievable. It shows that all our governments and the Osibanjo of which most people are thinking, okay, I think Osibanjo's own should be more better. Since he is a pastor, if you have the feelings, you know, if you have human feelings, if you have conscience, the same person now is not telling us that as a strike is relevant. What is more relevant now is the election. So he is doing everything possible to emerge as the winner over, you know, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who is a former Lagos State governor. All these things is also happening at the APC convention. You can see it is happening at the APC convention and Osibanjo is telling us that in Nigeria can send astronauts to the moon in two decades. That's 20 years. Each decade is 10 years and Nigeria can send you know, astronauts to the moon in two decades. That's 20 years. That is what Osibanjo have told delegates despite over three four months university lecturers strike we would like you to let us know your own point of view to this we would like to share your reaction with us via the comment section but before we go let's people's reactions to this and the moji bio reacted and said in my opinion osibanjo has no credibility because he has been a part of this disastrous Buhari regime. Let us not forget that he has been the head of the economic management team of the Buhari regime. If we have to judge by results, Zibanjo is a failure and failure should not be rewarded or celebrated. That is what Abdul Mojib have said. What is your thought to this? A lot is actually happening. A lot is happening as a result of the APC primaries. Initially, it was postponed to June 6. 
Now, June 6 came, we never heard anything about the election. And now it is happening. And look at the dramas that are now playing out. At the convention, we've had about three people, you know, stepping down and endorsing Tinobu, you know, endorsing Osiba and Chopadon. A lot of drama is playing out. Well, we are waiting, you know, we are all anticipating to see what the result of the election will look like. As it stands now, we have just two people. I think, according to what we've heard, two people are left. We have Osimanjo, we have Tinobu to be voted for. Let's see who will emerge as the winner. Don't forget that. Amechi is also, you know, one of the, you know, APC aspirant who's also aspiring for that seat. Well, let's move on and see what other people reactions is on this. Take care for your responsibilities here on earth before thinking of going to space people are living in fear of being attacked every day and also many are hungry another reaction from dan musa umar saying that look at the vice president of nigeria thinking outside nigeria thinking not just outside of nigeria but thinking outside the earth you want to send astronauts to the moon you are building drones, you are building helicopters, you are building planes. This ought not to be your thinking. You need to take care of your responsibilities here on earth first before thinking, before you start thinking of going to the space. Not already building drones, not already building helicopters or plane. Before you even start thinking of all those things, you should have taken good care of your primary responsibility here on earth looking at the way people are living in fear of being attacked every day looking at the hunger you know happening in nigeria and you are there thinking of how to build planes how to build drones how to build helicopters to go to the moon to send black astronauts for nigeria to become the first black nation to send people to the moon to send astronauts to the moon this ought not to be. Who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this? Who would like you to share your own reaction with us via the comment section on this that has been said? You know, you also say that the Bahari government is actually helping the youth in some aspects over this try because it makes the youth, the student, to know how life could be even after you're in university level. Just imagine the way you are now during the strike. Just imagine how it will look like after your convocation, after graduating from the university. That is you know, example of how life could be after your you know, university education. So it, you should be wise enough to know how to prepare yourself ahead of the coming days. Well, we would like you to let us know your own point of view to this and we are hoping that probably after this election, the government will do something about this ASU strike so aid the education of our students. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.